Hi, this is Hatman Miami, and today we've got our third episode of Cuties in the Kitchen, and I'm surrounded by cuties, exception of the chef here, but uh, that's why we're here, is the invitation of Chef Todd, and uh, we're at the Front Porch Cafe in Z Ocean uh, Hotel on Miami, uh, Miami Beach. So uh, without further ado, the head chef today, Todd, uh, is going to show our cuties how to cook his favorite dish, not including one of the girls. So, uh, Chef, take it away. What are we going to cook today? Well, today we're going to do a grilled mango salad. Uh, right now, Florida mangoes are in season. So, you know, if you live down here in South Florida, you'd see them falling off the trees everywhere. Um, and then, you know, grilling them just kind of opens them up, gives them a nice smoky flavor. Uh, we're going to pair it up with a little bit of French feta and some fresh herbs, toasted almonds. It's a nice dish. So, it's called fresh mango salad? A, a grilled mango salad. Grilled mango salad. Yeah. Girls, do you think you'd make that? We're gonna try. We're gonna Sounds try. delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> it is zero calories in this. Uh, zero calories. The girls will like that. Best part. <laughs> Best part. Okay, well, chef, why don't you start out and uh, show the girls how you make your favorite dish? Okay. Um, so the most, the big mistake people make is they try to just start off peeling it. You want to give yourself a little bit of room to work. So just peel off that little end so you have somewhere to start over. It's called any way you cut it. Is that right, chef? I'm sorry? Any way you slice it? Is that a- any way you slice it, okay. yeah. Now, in case these girls don't know, that's called a peeler, right? That is called a peeler. <laughs> and, and it is short. Have you ladies used any of these? Any of these utensils, tools? I've used the peeler one. No. Peeler for what? Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I've used the mango. The mango? <laughs> <laughs> and you? What do you peeler use the mango, mango for? <laughs> to eat it. Mango. That's the perfect combination. I love mango. Lizelle, they did say before the show today that uh, their boyfriends took them to a place they'd never been before called the kitchen. <laughs> Salt and pepper, you girls know what that is, right? Salt and pepper, yeah, okay. Yeah, got it. I like the scallion cut on a bias. Ooh. Ooh, that um, is so Don't cut your nails, girls. Wow. Careful with the manicures. Yeah. The Greek feta, if you know about it, it's got kind of a salty brininess to it. French feta is a lot more mild and um, it's easier to eat. It's got a creamier taste, better texture in my mind. So all we're going to do is cut a nice piece of it. If you develop a finish for the feta. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I'm looking at him. I'm waiting for That's a kosher right there. So, there's there's yeah. nothing better than a feta finish. <laughs> so this is going to go on the bottom. We'll grill the mango. The mango will go on top of it. A little bit of salad. And then we finish it with some toasted almonds. It's broken. I don't think it's broken. I think I think you need. Wow. They malfunction every so often. Oh man. See, it's it doesn't like me. So it doesn't. Like me. <laughs> That's the cutting edge. So you want to get the cutting edge up underneath it. <laughs> you got it, girl. You got it. No, no, in the middle of those. Like here. Like. <laughs> what? Not so hard. Oh man. Can we call rescue? Just this have mango doesn't up? stand a chance. <laughs> I can't do it. It's called mangled mango right here. So. <laughs> it's a little oil, right? A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. On it or on the plate? On the mango. A little bit of salt. He's getting right to it. Look at that. She's banging through this. She, 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 hey, yeah. Chef, I think you might have a little competition here yourself. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Hottest part. Yep. There we go. Ooh, yeah. I'm trying to slice us. The chef taught us, but. Not bad, not bad. Looking good. It is good.
this is happening in Miami, and this is our final, the most important step of Cuties in the Kitchen at the Front Porch Cafe with head chef Todd. And Todd, you've got a big challenge here. You've got to pick one of the kitchen cuties as to who made the best mango, grilled mango dish. So uh, you're about to uh, uh, take, take a taste and choose a winner. Okay, so who's going first? Fate number one. Fate number Fate one. Number one. <laughs> I didn't tell you that is the secret ingredient. <laughs> you may not see it, but you'll feel it. <laughs> That's a good line. I won't touch that one. So. <laughs> I may have to use it. Okay. All right, here he goes. Our final cutie in the kitchen taste test here. It looks nice. No, I'm nervous. Yeah. So, Chef, what, what so are your is thoughts? It, is it grilled just right, Chef? Or how's the onion and the stems on this one? <laughs> Any almonds? Um, Any almonds? Don't forget the almonds. I would say um, the almonds are good. I get that right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, it, the onions are cut a little, a little thick. Okay. Um, and it could use more, more char. I think um, of the three. Here we go. Drum roll! Drum roll! Yep. Oh. I think I like the first one the best. Oh! Oh! We have a winner! We have a winner! Like winner! Winner! winner chicken dinner! And predominantly because um, it, it really did have a nice smoky flavor right when I bit into it, okay. and um, and also um, it was the onions were understated in it. I am really happy, and I want to thank you, Chef, for teaching us. And 305 has lots of fun, so now maybe I'll find a husband. <laughs> <laughs> However, she wants to bring her boyfriend for dinner, right? So, dinner for two, right? Yeah. This is Hatman Miami, and we're just wrapping up another episode here of Cuties in the Kitchen at the Bunch Porch Cafe, Front Porch Cafe, uh, at Z Ocean in Miami Beach. And we have a winner today, and her name is? Raquel Alvarez. And Raquel won uh, the chef's prize here, first prize. She gets dinner for two at his restaurant. So that's it for today for uh, Cooties in the Kitchen and Watch305.com.